like to welcome you to our program, Feed Your Mind and Body, Maseca. Today I will show you 12 different meal options you can make using Maseca. This is an instant corn masa flour, and it is very versatile. With one bag, you can create any of these 12 delicious meals. We have three filling options for today's meals. We will be using beans, Mexican blend shredded cheese, and homemade salsa. We will also be using canola oil. You can also use vegetable oil, lard, or shortening. I will be using canola oil in this video to show how you can make any of these meals vegetarian friendly for your family. This program will be broken up in three parts. Let's begin. For the first part, we will be making a dough with oil. We will be needing two cups of maseca flour, one teaspoon of salt or to taste, one cup of water at first while leaving half a cup of water to the side. Then add three tablespoons of oil. Go ahead and get your hands dirty. Mix all the ingredients together, adding the remaining of water little by little. You want your dough to resemble a Play-Doh consistency. If you add too much liquid, go ahead and add more masa flour, or if it's too dry, go ahead and add more liquid. It's very easy to fix. Once you're done, cover and let rest for 10 to 20 minutes. Now that our dough is rested, we are going to begin making pupusas. These are very simple. You grab a two inch dough ball and begin flattening it out with your hands. Now, place your filling and begin pinching up the sides to create something resembling a dumpling. Then go ahead and carefully massage the ball to flatten it out to look like a flattened thick circle. You can rub in some oil on both sides and place it on the griddle to cook on medium for four to five minutes on both sides or until golden brown. The two cups of maseca flour can make about 15 small pupusas. Next up, we'll be making empanadas. For this, I will be using a tortilla press with a gallon-sized Ziploc bag cut along the sides to peel off the dough easier. You can use two flat surfaces like cutting boards or flat plates to do this as well. You will need to grab your dough ball about two inches, place it in the center and press down. You don't want it too thin. Add your fillings on one side and fold over. Now we need to press the open side down and seal it. The easiest way to press the edges for me is to use a fork. You just need to press down enough to close the open edges. Once you finish, rub on some oil and place on the griddle to cook for four to five minutes on both sides as well. What I love about empanadas is that you can make them savory or sweet. You can make them sweet by adding rice pudding, custard, and then finishing it off by adding sugar and cinnamon on the outside. The two cups of maseca flour can make about 12 to 14 empanadas. Now we're going to make tamales. You will need corn husks for this. I soaked the corn husks for about 30 minutes beforehand so they were easier to work with. You can take a spoon and flatten out the dough on the center of the corn husk. Fill it in with your fillings and fold the sides towards the center. Then, tuck the tail up. You can also use your hands to flatten out the dough. Once you finish making the tamales, get a pot big enough for the amount of tamales you made. If you have a steam pot, go ahead and use that to cook them. But if you don't, grab some foil and line the bottom. Fill the pot with about one to two inches of water and place your tamales open side up. I'm going to be using a bit more foil so that my tamales don't tip over. We don't want any water to enter the corn husks. Close the lid and let them cook for about 30 to 45 minutes or until the dough is cooked thoroughly. The two cups of maseca can make close to 10 small to medium tamales. Part two of our maseca program is our dough recipe without oil. 
we'll be needing two cups of maseca flour, one teaspoon of salt or to taste, and one cup of water at first while leaving half a cup of water to the side. Again, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Mix all the ingredients together, adding the remainder of water little by little. You want your dough to resemble a Play-Doh consistency. Now, we are going to set this dough aside to rest for 10 to 20 minutes before beginning. Our first recipe with this specific dough is sopas. We will be using our tortilla press, but you can use two flat surfaces. We will only press down slightly because we want our sopas to be about a quarter inch thick. We will then place on the griddle to cook one minute on both sides. Now we need to take them out carefully because they are very hot and pinch all the sides to create a small wall around the whole sope. This will keep all the toppings in place. Finally, place back on the griddle to continue to cook for another two to three minutes on each side. Once cooked, top with your choice of toppings. Two cups of maseca flour can make about 10 to 12 small to medium sopas. Our next recipe is gorditas. We will need to grab a three to four inch dough ball and begin flattening it out with our hand. We will want the flattened circle to be thick because we will need to cut it open to fill. Once you finish, rub on some oil and place it on the griddle to cook on medium heat four to five minutes each side or until golden brown. Once cooked, open up one side using a knife and fill with whatever fillings you'd like. Two cups of maseca flour can make about eight to 10 medium sized gorditas. Now I will show you how to make huaraches. These are a larger form of a tortilla, but similar to a sope. We will use a tortilla press to flatten out the dough, but we will leave the huarache in the plastic and use our hands to stretch it into a more oval shape. The huarache should be as thin as a tortilla. We will then peel the huarache off the plastic and place directly on the griddle to cook for one minute on each side. We will then grab our huarache and pinch the sides very slightly, not as much as we did the sope. We then place it back on the griddle to finish cooking another two minutes each side. Once cooked, add your desired toppings. With the two cups of maseca flour, you can make about eight medium huaraches. Part three. With tortillas, you can make a variety of meals. We will be using the dough recipe from part two. You will need to grab about a one to two inch ball and flatten it out using a tortilla press or two flat surfaces. Then you will place it on the griddle to cook for about two to three minutes each side or until the dough is cooked thoroughly. The two cups of maseca flour can make up to 19 small to medium tortillas. The most basic recipe that you can make with tortillas are tacos. Just grab a warm tortilla and fill it with whatever you'd like and enjoy. Quesadillas are also very easy to make. Grab a warm tortilla and fill with cheese. Then place it on the griddle. Leave on the griddle for two minutes each side or until the cheese is melted inside. If you heat a tortilla on the griddle until it hardens, you can create a tostada. You could also fry it if you'd like. Once hardened, place your desired toppings on top. You can also make a tasty appetizer. Heat up a pan with oil, rip up some freshly made tortillas and fry them. You just created tortilla chips. Pair with a tasty salsa or dip.
Our final recipe is flautas. These are rolled up tacos filled with your favorite filling. And then they are fried. The tortilla hardens and the crunch is amazing. Top with sour cream, salsa, or cheese. I hope you enjoyed all the meals I had for you today. If you make any of the meals that we showcased today, please comment below. If you and your family make them a little different or add different fillings or change up some of the recipes, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to see how creative you and your family can be in the kitchen. We hope you tune in to any future Feed Your Mind and Body episodes. This is a new food series to help people prepare food with simple and cheap ingredients. All the food we prepared today required our masa flour. This pound and a half bag was purchased at the Dollar Tree. So was my salt and my oil. I hope that this program helps you and your family create amazing and delicious meals. Have a great day, bye.